AEW issued warning by Athletic Commission over a Nyla Rose match. Plus, an ex-WWE name has joined AEW. And title matches have been added to this weekend's AEW Dynasty. It's all in the Cultaholic Wrestling News right now. So some news regarding a show that AEW did late last year that has caught the attention of the Oklahoma State Athletic Commission. What's this about, Andrew? So uh, minutes from the commission meeting held back in January, it reveals that AEW violated rules that prohibited transgender women competing against cisgender women in the state of Oklahoma. Um, It's part of the Oklahoma intergender wrestling ban in the state, which several non-AEW wrestlers are currently suspended over, Tom. Yeah, so a few indie guys have been caught by this intergender wrestling rule in Oklahoma. The rule in question from the commission statute is as follows. The commission will not approve sanctioning permits between human participants and non-humans or between males and females. A male participant is a person of the heterogametric sex born with XY chromosomes. Female participant is a person born of the homogamatic sex of the X with XX chromosomes. Uh, The administrator, Jim Miller, was tipped off by a local promotion that AEW had utilized Nyla Rose in a match during the AEW taping on December the 20th. Uh, She defeated Alejandra Leon in a match for Ring of Honor. Uh, Miller then informed AEW that it had violated the Athletic Commission's transgender and intergender wrestling rules. Yeah, uh, in the meeting, Mike Bauer, the chairman, noted that applications for wrestling in the state don't ask if competitors have had a gender reassignment surgery unlike MMA and boxing applications do and re- recommended that commission update their paperwork accordingly. Um, according to minutes from the meeting from January, the commission voted to warn AEW about having transgender wrestlers competing against cisgender women in Oklahoma again or in quotations, there will be pu- uh, punitive P- action made against them. Uh, close quotation marks uh, based on the commission's statu- uh, statue that uh, punitive action could potentially be a $1,000 fine a percentage of the ticket sales from the event in question or 30 days uh, 30 days in a county jail for a chan- transgender wrestler that's mental. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It's, a, it's it, now uh, Oklahoma have had intergender rules in place for a long time, and uh, this and and that in itself uh, it draws a lot of questions as well. Uh, but the way that they have essentially warned AEW that if you book Nyla Rose again, then there could be fines or even prison for doing so. Is that not ridiculous? Unreal. Is that not ridiculous? Uh, Nyla Rose has responded to this on Twitter saying, don't worry, Oklahoma, I'll find the dastardly transgender that checks notes. Entertain fans. How dare they make people happy? (laughs) New Japan's lead commentator Walker Stewart uh, has described the Oklahoma State Athletic Commission as, and I quote, a cancer of the wrestling scene in Oklahoma and, quote, a money grab that does nothing to protect wrestlers or protect the industry. Mm. Walker goes into detail on how the commission requires blood tests, a physical and a $30 fee to wrestle every year, but do nothing when it comes to people faking blood tests or faking licenses when checked at events. Uh, Walker also called out how the commission had no jurisdiction and has no jurisdiction over Native American land, yet will regularly send commissioners to oversee shows in or around Native American land in Oklahoma. It is a really outdated rule that mm. uh, I, I feel like is going to be a weird sort of dog whistle for people today, which I'm not massively happy about. Uh, and it's one that we will keep an eye on uh, in terms of how AEW react to this. I think everyone I've got online has just gone, if you run Oklahoma again, just stick Nyla Rose in the main, main event. event. <laughs> main event. <laughs> main event, Nyla Rose. It, honestly, uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that one for you. Uh, meanwhile, last night on AEW Dynamite, uh, we heard a debut. Uh, for the company. Well, you would have heard them if you were listening to the Spanish announced commentary. Yeah, so Tony Khan confirmed that longtime WWE Spanish commentator Carlos Cabrera has officially joined All Elite Wrestling. Uh, he made his debut behind the commentary desk for AEW last night and was announced as All Elite 
a short while later. Obviously, Carlos worked for WWE from 1994 until 2022 alongside commentary partners like Hugo Savanovich and Marcelo uh, Rodriguez, as well as the host of Recap Show WWE and Espanol. I remember when he got released and we were like, he's just like an iconic voice uh, of the Spanish product yeah, for WWE. Absolutely. And like, I think for a lot of um, Latin American people and also for, uh, you know, the Lucha Libre as a whole, wrestling as a whole, um, I feel like he's very synonymous with with all of that going on. Mm. And like, you know, growing up when it used to pan from the, the uh, English and the American announced team, to the Spanish now scene, there was so much excitement there as well. Yeah. And you could feel it, even though, you know, might not have been able to understand uh, the, the language, but like their uh, enthusiasm was so infectious as well. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it feels like a no brainer for, for AEW to pick them up, absolutely. 100%. Uh, also last night on AEW Dynamite, -E, two more title matches were added to Dynasty. On the zero hour pre-show, we're getting the acclaimed and daddy ass versus the bang, bang, gang. Uh, and it's for all the marbles. Winner takes all. It is is the AEW trios title versus the ROH six-man tag team titles. The winner gets all of the belts. Uh, two sets of belts that have been uh, woefully undervalued and underutilized on yep. television. No, so, I, I mean, if you end up unifying them, I don't think that's a bad thing. Because <laughs> if you know... Mm, I, do you think they'll unify them? Well, they're, well, they're not the... putting the Ring of Honor six-man tag belts on Ring of Honor. I mean, mm. I know I am, you know, call me wild thing my finger in here, but maybe Ring of Honor champion should be on Ring of Honor. Maybe. Ma you maybe. Know? I mean, you make a decent point there, to be honest. There's not many things that me and Kate from Fightful agree on, because we're <laughs> definitely going to fight IRL on Wembley Way, but the one thing that we do agree on is that you should have Ring of Honor champions on Ring of Honor TV. If this ends up making six-man tag team belts that go on to Ring of Honor, great. I don't think it will, but be that as it may, that's a match that we're getting on the pre-show. And after he was turned down by Hook uh, in his kind offer of of mentorship, Chris Jericho is going to face Hook for the FTW title this weekend as well. Squash that man, Hook. Squash <laughs> that man. Could you imagine? Make just him a, disappear for a while. Just two minutes of Please. Hook just dropping Jericho. Please. That was actually one of my pitches, which is up on the channel. You can go and watch that now. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> just get away from Hook, please, Mr. Chris <laughs> Jericho. Thank you. Run away, run away. Uh, also confirmed for AEW Dynasty. Oh, Will Ospreay versus Brian Dan. Daniel Son. Oh, dream match. The AEW International Championship on the line. Uh, Roderick Strong facing Kyle O'Reilly. The undisputed oh. era explodes. I'm excited for that one. We have a trios match as well. We've got Adam Copeland, Eddie Kingston, and Mark Briscoe up against the House of Black. It's house rules for the TBS title as Julia Hart faces Willow Nightingale. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was Willow! amazing. Wow. Uh, Kazuchika Okada Carter will put the AEW Continental Championship on the line against Newcastle's very own Pack. War Pack, oh buddy lad! AEW Women's Title, Timeless Tony Storm. She puts it up against Thunder Rosa. We had the ladder match for the AEW Tag Team Championships as well, vacant at the moment. Who will it be? Will it be FTR or will it be the Young Bucks? And will it be Swerve's house by the end of the weekend? Swerve Strickland challenging Samoa Joe for the AEW World Championship. That is your card for Dynasty this Sunday. We have nine pitches already on the channel. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some bangers in there. And if you are like Andrew Keen to see how Hook could just turn <laughs> Jericho into a fine powder, uh, you can check out uh, uh, Andrew's pitch among the others. Uh, predictions later on today for AEW Dynasty plus live reactions on the weekend at youtube.com slash cultaholic slash live and find out what happened at AEW Dynasty shortly afterwards as well. And for the very latest wrestling news throughout the day follow us on Twitter at Cultaholic Case Case Transphobia is for losers you dub be a dickhead bye